Hello Capricorns and welcome to my channel Indigo Goddess 1111. My name is Indigo and I am here to bring you channeled messages from Spirit. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and it's not going to resonate with everybody so take what fits and leave what don't. Um, I meditated on your guys' situation and I got some... Um, some messages that I will go over throughout the reading and um, the rest I'm just going to channel as we go. So um, when you are on my channel, I connect to your energy, you leave an energetic footprint. So the more you um, visit my channel, the more I pick up on your energy, the more your energy gets through my reading. So um, that's just kind of how it goes with channeling. Um, so this will be for the collective. Um, so not everything is going to fit. Um, I encourage you to check out all four of your signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and take everything that uh, fits out of those and put it all together and make that one reading. Um, Spirit is encouraging you to look at your Venus sign, especially this month and the next month, because there are big changes happening in love, guys. So, all right, Capricorns, I am going to start. So, if I had to give an overall word for what the theme of your reading is going to be, it would be victorious. You guys are going to be able to succeed in anything you do this month. Not saying that it's going to be easy. Not saying it's going to want to be something you want to do. But everything you do... You do in victory. For a group of you, you're moving away from a situation that makes you doubt you. It makes you doubt who you are, who you want to be, what you represent, what you stand for. And for a group of you, this has been something that has made you feel out of control. Somebody or something has controlled you in this area of my life, of your life. Um, whether it be a person, a relationship, a uh, friendship, a job, um, location, something. You are moving away from a situation that you have been controlled in, that you've had to succumb to in your life that makes you doubt who you are, what you stand for, what makes you you, what you value, what you believe, what you think But it's time to release what is making you emotionally stuck, stuck in a job, in a relationship, because it's like you chose the path that everybody picked for you. Even though your instinct, your gut instinct was telling you to take the other path, you felt like you were too far in to turn around. So you kept going. And you feel like you found yourself stuck in quicksand. The more you try to get out of it, the more you try to get away, the more you try to release yourself the faster you sink, the harder it sucks you in. Spirit is telling you to stop moving. When you move in quicksand, you sink. The more you move, the more you sink, the faster you sink. It's time to pause, quit moving, stand still.
And while you're standing there, Spirit wants you to reflect. Reflect on everything in your life up to this point. Is it worth it? Is it what you want? Is it what you truly want? Or has your environment controlled you? Has your environment brought you to this point? Has somebody in your life told you this is the path you're going to take? Because I said so. Is it a relationship where it was sunshine and roses in the beginning? And now you feel like you're in hell. You're controlled. You're abused. Mentally, physically, emotionally. Just stop and pause. Because for a group of you, this isn't the path you would have chose for yourself. Ask yourself, is this what I want? Is this what makes me happy? Is this what I'm meant to do? Is this who I'm meant to be? If any of those questions get a response of no, no, this isn't what I want. No, this isn't who I am. This isn't the path I would have chose. Then it's time to change. It's time to stand up for you. Stand up for what you believe in. Stand up for what you want. Who you want to be what you want to do with your life. Now, I'm not saying to stand up to people and fight and argue. I'm saying stand up for yourself. Sometimes silence speaks louder than words. So maybe it's time to just Pause, take a step back, reevaluate, and then start moving in that direction. You don't have to run, jog, skip. You can tiptoe if you want, but start moving. Start moving out of this stuck, stagnant, stinky water that we've been standing in for months, years. Decades. Capricorn, Spirit says you have to slow down. You're going through life too fast. You're not paying attention to what's going on today because you're too worried about what's going to happen tomorrow. He's asking you to slow down and enjoy the simple things to notice the little things because what seems so little today could mean everything tomorrow, could mean everything next week, next month. But the only thing that matters right now is right now. The only thing that matters in life is the current moment. We can't live for tomorrow because we don't know if tomorrow is going to be here. We don't know if tomorrow will ever come. What is tomorrow? What is time? There is no time. So when you ask yourself what you're worried about, about tomorrow, next week, next month, you are wasting today's precious time worrying about something that's not even here yet that may never come. What are you going to do about what happens tomorrow today? You can't. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So Spirit is saying, live for the moment. Live for today. Quit worrying about tomorrow, next week, next month. Because it's it's not even it's not even real yet. It's not real. We're not there. The only thing that is real is the moment we are in right now. 
So enjoy everything around you. Don't take the little things for granted. For a group of you, you have had your whole world flipped upside down. You have been on every emotional roller coaster ever. You feel like you are letting the world pass you by. Everything you've ever known, thought, believed, felt is all in question right now. And life has been nothing short of a challenge for you. One turn after another. One dead end after another. One detour. One bridge out. One whatever metaphor you want to make. You've been there, done that, and you feel like if there's one more bump in the road, I'm pulling over, I'm parking, and I'm done. I just can't do it anymore. I can't take it anymore. Spirit is saying for this group of you, to break free from the prison you're in, whether it be mental, emotional, well, physical, don't. You better stay there and serve your time. But you need to free the chains, free the bars, get out of your head. This mental state you're in is nothing but worrying about your future. Nothing about worrying except for worrying about yesterday. Just live for the moment. Let life happen. Let go. Free yourself. Whether that be leaving a toxic situation, whether that be leaving a dead-end job, whether that be getting out of wherever you are stuck in. Capricorn, you are stuck and you've been stuck for years, months. Spirit is saying if you really put your mind to it and you just let go, you'll be victorious. You'll realize there's nothing about tomorrow that there is to worry about. Tomorrow will come just like every other day and it'll pass just like every other day. One second, one minute, one hour at a time. Don't worry about it till it gets here. When you release and let it go, let it happen, you are going to be freed from so much mental fogginess. Things will start to become clear. And I see you guys being successful in that because you are going to start experiencing a spiritual awakening. The universe has a funny way of working things out. And it seems like a lot of spiritual awakenings happen when people are at their rock bottom. What do I mean by rock bottom? I mean, just when you say nothing in this world could happen because everything has happened to you. That's when the universe throws another one at you. And then you're thinking, are you serious? It can't get any worse than this. And then the universe proves you wrong. And you, and it just goes on and on and on until you literally have had so many devastating blows that you are menti mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually drained, have nothing left to give. And the universe steps in and gives you this whole new renewed 
spiritual fulfillment. And you and the universe, spirit, whatever you want to call it, your higher power and you start working hand in hand in building yourself back up. Start putting your pieces back together. And with that guidance, you become a whole new, beautiful masterpiece. I see a lot of you Capricorns going through that in the next three months. Rock bottoms are here. Spiritual awakenings are coming in and you will be victorious. It's time to release everything that no longer serves you. That seems to be a common theme across the board. <clears throat> it's time to put it away, walk away, throw it away, whatever it happens to be. If it don't serve you, it don't deserve you. So there's no sense in keeping it around. Expect in the next, I'd say, six to 12 weeks. Moving forward, big decisions, brand new beginnings. For a group of you, you are in a karmic cycle. You are dealing with somebody who's very withdrawn, um, very emotional, emotionally distant. They're not communicating with you. They're not really giving you anything. They're not contributing to this relationship one bit, except for being there in the physical. Um, I would say that for this group of you, you are feeling like you're being pulled in two different directions. You love this person, but you can tell something is not right. You care about this person, but all of a sudden they are cut off from the world. You especially. It's like all their passion has ran out and there's no energy left for them to give to the relationship. They, if they are still there, they have mentally checked out. They have left the building. They're just not giving anything and it's pushing you away. So where you want to be there, you love this person. You want to make this work with this person. Another part of you is feeling so pushed away by their discontent, their disconnection, that you don't know what to do. You're being pulled in two directions. They're giving you no effort. But this is a karmic cycle. And the reason why you are going through this, the reason why this is still going on, is because you have a lesson to learn. Spirit says there is a lesson to learn in this. And that is why you are stuck in this cycle. As soon as the lesson learned, it'll be over. And that lesson is letting go, freeing yourself from that prison, freeing yourself from the thought of you no longer able to have choice in your life. You feel stuck there because you love them, but they're pushing you away. But then you're worried they need you because look how they're acting, but they're pushing you away. So the karmic lesson here is to move on, to let go, to heal, and to move on. Free yourself. That is your lesson. For those of you that needed to hear it, 
you'll know it because you've been having a struggle, a power struggle with this inside your head for months now. Since at least, I'm going to say August, as far back as three years ago. Three years ago, you've been dealing with this. So, hasn't that been long enough? It's time to let go. Because Spirit promises after you let go, you are going to be thrown into a positive direction. You are going to you are going to be put in a position with a person that is going to offer you everything. And And you can't even see it right now because everything's blurry. Everything's a haze because you're just walking through life. You're just doing the motions. You're not paying attention to anything around you because it has no fulfillment anymore. It has nothing left to offer you feel. And you feel like you've been stabbed in the back. You're ready to give up, but you don't know if you should or not. I think it's time. For another group of you, you have a family feud going on. This is, it's causing like rifts. It's causing people to be at each other's throats constantly. And it's over something that would be so simple to solve, to figure out. If you guys would stop and listen to each other, nobody's listening. Everybody's talking, but nobody's listening. So the spirit is just encouraging you guys to stop and listen. Once you actually stop and listen, you might see that you agree with them a lot more than what you thought you would have or them to you. Um, I do see you guys figuring this family feud out, but I don't feel it'll be before probably end of April, beginning of May. For a group of you, you are becoming aware of all the different possibilities that are out there for you. You are slowly starting to notice all the options you have. And this comes after letting that person go, after freeing yourself from that prison. There's, for a different group of you, there is someone in your life who is lying to you. They are manipulating you. They... I see they are blaming you for everything under the sun, even things you didn't even were a part of. You didn't know what happened. You didn't. I mean, you are the scapegoat for this person. You are carrying the weight of all their problems. And they are lying to you. You're going to be coming to a conclusion, though you're going to realize you are not to blame because you've carried this weight for a while. You're going to open your eyes to this and realize this is not working for me. You have to help yourself before anyone else can help you. And no matter how much help I provide, no matter how much I try to give you, it's never enough. Nothing is ever enough. You are tired of the conflicts. You are tired of the lies. You're tired of pretending to everybody that it's okay, that your home life is great, that <clears throat> you love this person and this person loves you and they would do anything for you. And you do it, you know, it's just you are opening your eyes to realize that it is taking way too much energy to try to make this person happy. 
And all you're getting in return is being lied to, manipulated, and you've just had enough. With this realization, though, it's going to make you sad because you realize just how lonely you have been. How your independence was taken away from you. How your freedom. You were controlled and manipulated in a situation, in a relationship to where you couldn't go places without them or if you did, you had to deal with it when you got home and they were crabby and they would give you the silent treatment and they would go on and on and on because you did something that they either didn't approve of, didn't like, or you had to have a babysitter come along with you all the time. In the other side of it, they left when they went, they came home when they went. They did what they want. They talked to who they want. They, they did whatever it was that they wanted to do that day. You realize that they haven't given you anything that you dreamed of. Not one thing that you desire has been manifested out of this relationship. You're lonely. You're sad. You're depressed. You're getting lied to. And for what? Get out of that mental prison. Get out of that being stuck. It's time to free yourself because that's your karmic lesson as well for that group of you. Free yourself. I see for a group of you, you fear the future. You are resisting change because you don't know what's going to happen. Well, that refers back to the beginning of this video. Live for the moment. Don't worry about tomorrow. Live for today. Because it can't be any worse going out on your own and struggling on your own than being stuck where you're at now and being absolutely miserable and feeling like you are imprisoned. You're going to be okay. You're going to do it. You're going to be victorious. So there's nothing to fear. Reach out for help if you need it. You have a hard time doing that, cabbies. You do not want to ask for help. You want everybody to think you got your stuff together. And you, you are the person people call for help. You don't call people for help, but it's okay. Everybody needs help once in a while. Everybody. I do see you guys leaving. I see you guys freeing yourself. I see you moving in a positive direction. I also see an unexpected person coming into your life. And it's going to bring you to a point where you have a big decision to make. I feel you know this person because your interaction is comfortable. Um, you feel safe around this person. This person knows you're having problems and the problems you're having with your relationship and they want to come in and help you. They want to save your day. They want to take care of you. They want to love you. They want to offer you the world. So now you have a big choice. Let these new beginnings happen. For a group of you, I see you getting divorced or filing for divorce. So you will have a new path to choose. Um,
for this person that's coming in, they are very, they're very attracted to you. They're very seductive. They, they have it all. They have it all together and they want to offer you this. I see for a group of you, you're going for it. You are walking your own path. And the beautiful part of it is they're walking their own path too. They're not going to control you. They're not going to make decisions for you. They're not going to make you do as I say. They're going to allow you to walk your path. And they're going to walk their own path. And the beautiful thing is, is... You guys are doing it together, and you just so happen to be on that same path. So, you get it all. You get everything. You get everything you had hoped for, everything you had wished for, in a big way. You're going to move forward, Capricorn, out of these toxic relationships. Now, if you have a positive relationship you have a great spouse, a great significant other. Um, you love each other and this is great. This message is not for you. This message is for the people who need to hear it to let you know that you are not alone. You are not doing this alone. There are many people going through this at the same time. And this is to let you know that spirit is saying it is okay because you are scared. You are scared to leave. You're scared to do it on your own because for years you have been with this person and they have made all your choices. This person has made you be codependent on them because they didn't give you an option to fend for yourself. They didn't give you an option. They took it from you. They took your freedom a choice. They took your freedom for yourself. It's going to be okay. I see this new beginning with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. For another group of you, it's with a water sign. That's Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. When this person comes to your life and you um, start spending time with them, it is going to bring you mental clarity like that. You are all of a sudden going to see everything that you have been missing. All the things that you just got to over time become your norm. You are going to realize normal relationships are not like that. And you are not going to walk away from that relationship, that controlling prison. You are going to run from it and not look back. You're going to be victorious. For another group of you, you are not going to take this person up on their offer. You're stuck in memories of the past. You're overwhelmed about what to do next. You are procrastinating moving forward. You know what needs to be done. You just don't know how. And if you know how, you fear doing it. All you want is peace. You want peace in your mind, peace in your heart, peace in your home, peace in your environment. You just want peace. Spirit is saying that comes after you let it go and let God there's no reason for you to be carrying all these burdens, worries, thoughts around on your shoulders. You're carrying around people's problems that aren't yours. You're carrying around emotions, thoughts, hurts that you don't deserve to have, but you need to leave your environment in order for them to stop.
I see overall as a collective, a large majority of you are finding spiritual balance. You are going to use that spirituality as your crutch to get through this difficult time. Your cycle is coming to an end for a lot of you, for another group of you, not yet. You haven't learned that karmic lesson, and that is letting go. You, you have had balance in the past. You know what it feels like to be balanced. You took a leap of faith with somebody from your past. You, you didn't even think about it. You just took their hand and jumped. And when you jumped, it was beautiful for a time. And one day you turned around and you don't know where they went. They disappeared. They took off on you. They ignored you. They cut off communication with you. They... They took your heart and stole it. They ran. You felt like you, you couldn't breathe. You were spinning in circles. You had no clarity to anything because that was the one thing they promised you they wouldn't do. They weren't like the others. They weren't going to do this to you. They were going to be there forever. They weren't going to break your heart. They weren't going to hurt your children. They weren't going to leave you high and dry. They weren't going to cheat on you, steal from you, leave you. And all of a sudden, here you stand, frantically looking. And you can't find them. So... When you think of taking a leap of faith and moving forward, regaining balance, you are brought back to that memory. You, that day, were broken for the first time in your whole life. Really broken. Every part of you seemed to come crashing down. Your mind, heart, soul, body. Some of you became physically ill. Some of you didn't get out of bed for a week. Some of you searched high and low. Texted their phone 972 times with no response. You're fearful. Not everybody's going to do that to you. For this group of you, though, After a couple weeks, they got a hold of you, letting you know they just had to go. They didn't know why. They just felt like they had to go. Nice of them to let you know. That goes on for quite a while. That went on. You would send 600 messages to their one message that said, okay, or fine. Or, yep. It seemed like they were just literally cut out of your life. And you had no answers. You're going to have answers. For this group of you who I am talking to right now, this is your twin flame. That was your bubble phase where it was all kisses and hugs and sunshine and confetti, you know. And that was your separation period. For a group of you, I'm seeing you met around anywhere from the beginning of the year to May. You are in this bubble phase. Till the end of July, beginning of August. 
one day in August, you turned around, bam, gone. Or August or September, give or take a month. I got good news for you. You've been working hard. You've been healing. You've been meditating. You have been researching like no other to figure out what this connection is, why this happened. <coughs> Excuse me. Some of you have been cut off since December in communication from them. Probably the middle of December. Um, some of the communication was hit and miss from this past August or September, the last two months, hit and miss communication. When they did want to see you, it was usually for sexual or they would tell you they were coming and didn't show up. They broke a million and one promises. And for those of you, you are starting to rise up. You are starting to be your own person. You are becoming independent, beautifully strong human beings. You have been broken, so broken, that it would have been easier to give up than to repair. But you've been putting in the hard work. You've been putting in the hours of self-love and And it's about to happen for you. What that may be, I don't know. It depends on what part of your journey you're on. But for this group of you, you have been in separation since August or September. Get ready for February. You have an exciting ride. Keep working on yourself. Keep balance. Keep that self-love going. Spirit says you guys have worked hard. You have repaired yourself as well as your divine masculine or divine feminine, depending on who is the runner, who's the chaser. If you were the chaser, you have worked hard. This situation is gonna has caused you to make your own path of happiness and success, you are becoming the best you that you have ever been before. <clears throat> Even though everybody seems to have an opinion of your choices, your life, your love, everyone has an opinion. And yet you find yourself fighting against the tide because they're all telling you to let it go, to um, move on, that why would you want to be with a person like this? Why would you want to take them back? Look what they did to you. Look what's, look, no relationship like that is normal. Well, the twin flame journey is not normal. Keep standing strong and Fight those waves coming in because they're going to try to knock you on your ass. Only you and that person knows your connection. The world is going to judge, but that's just part of the journey. You are in turn, when they judge you, trying to break you down, you are in turn standing your ground, owning it, and defending this relationship, defending this connection. It's only making you stronger. And you are so strong, Cappies. Your insecurities have been magnified. Your doubts have been blown out of proportion. Your fears have come to life. And yet, at the end of the day, you would still defend this person till the bitter end. You would defend this connection no matter what. This is teaching you unconditional love. Unconditional love for yourself. Unconditional love 
for your partner and unconditional forgiveness. I forgive you no matter what because I have an unconditional love. It doesn't mean I like it, accept it, and want it to happen again, but I forgive you. That's your lesson for those of you in the twin flame right now. Forgiving and letting go. Also, letting go of control. You have to let it go because it happens in divine timing. And the more you try to control, the more the universe holds it off. So I see for you guys, though, you are being victorious. Don't let anybody hold you back. Nobody. Including yourself. Don't let any relationship imprison you. Do not let anybody stand in your way of what you want. As long as it serves your greater good and the greater good of the universe, find a different path, but get to the same destination. Don't let anyone stand in your way of anything. Whether it be being stuck in a toxic relationship, being stuck at a dead-end job, defending this twin flame relationship. The universe sees how hard you guys are working. And it's going to reward you in the long run. You will be rewarded as long as you continue to put good karma out there. For those of you in this karmic cycle, let it go and let this cycle complete so you can have your new beginnings too because you have amazing new beginnings, new opportunities. As soon as you let this go, I am seeing immediately you are in a new beginning, a new journey, new relationships. Don't let anybody hold you back. I do see for a group of you, you are starting new businesses. Um, it's going to be a little rough in the beginning, but don't give up. Don't give up because money is coming towards you. It's slow at first. It's going to be kind of bumpy. But after you get that through that three months, that first quarter of business, money will be flowing in. The universe is testing you. Be dedicated. Be confident. Be sure of yourself. Be sure of your company, your product, your service, whatever it is. If you believe it, it'll happen. It will manifest. It will be successful. You will succeed. And financial issues will no longer be a problem. For others of you, I see you retiring and traveling the world where you will meet new people in other countries. And I see a group of you um, finding true love, moving. Um, it's just there is... So much. I wish, I always say, I wish you guys could see what I see because the universe has so many blessings in store for you. It has so many positive things that you can't see right now because there's so much bullshit around you that you're trying to get through. It's called life and it sucks. And Cappy's is one of the hardest, uh, cycles right now. You are in coming out of a transition or going into a transition period where you're, you're just, your whole world is upheavaled. Everything, everything you thought, felt, beliefs, everything. It's being rebuilt, but you're re being rebuilt for the better. So I see February 15th being an important date for you guys in regards to love. I see because it's the eclipse. For a group of you, I'm also seeing February 6th as being a big date for you as well in regards to relationships. For another group of you, the first week of March. Um, 
is significant and will be rememberable. Rem rememberable? Memorable. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Spirit is saying that for those of you For those of you who, for those of you who take that leap of faith, who trust the universe, who put trust into the energy and everything that we are in it, those of you who take the leap in the next four weeks, six weeks, take that next step. Your feet are never going to hit the ground because you are going to be on cloud nine. Sometimes we have to put blind trust into the world and let the divine white light lead us through the dark night. Because that divine light shines the brightest in our darkest period. We just have to be conscious enough to look for it. So if ever in doubt, pray. But most importantly, when you're done praying, listen. Listen for the answers. Our higher power spirit, universe, whoever you think your higher power is, whoever you pray to, the divine always answers our prayers. It's just in the event that it's not what we want to hear, it's not what we want, or it doesn't go the way we think it should, we think our prayers went unanswered. The divine always answers our prayers in a way that is for our greater good. And the good of the universe. So make sure you take the time to listen. I always say praying is talking to your higher power. Medi or meditating is listening to your higher power. Let those messages come in. Let them flow freely. But not only let them come in, but hear them. Rejection is spirit's protection. I had that come up yesterday too in a different reading. Spirit will protect us from what is not meant for us. So if we find rejection in it, spirit is protecting it from us and we have something better coming along. So just keep praying, keep meditating, keep living your life in truth and clarity and take a leap of faith. So you can't go wrong if you put your faith in your higher power. If you put faith in yourself. Because with, with your higher power in you, you can't. If God is for you, nobody or nothing can go against you. So I'm going to end on that. Um, exciting, exciting February and March for you, Capricorn. You would have no idea. I know right now you're thinking, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Nothing good for me is coming. He's not coming back. I haven't heard from him. I have in two months. I haven't talked to him, seen him. He's not. Have faith. You can't manifest what you don't believe. So have faith. He could call in 10 minutes and be moved in by tomorrow. You just never know. If you believe it, you'll see it. So spirit is just encouraging to have faith to keep believing, to keep working on yourself, to get strong, healthy, let go of those toxic relationships, let go of anything not serving you. For those of you starting new businesses, congratulations. You will be successful. You just got to get through that initiation period. Um, for those of you leaving old relationships in the past, congratulations. You have new beautiful beginnings coming your way very fast. For you, though, of those of you in the Twin Flame journey, 
congratulations. You are going to have a good month next month. Um, that's all I'm getting as well. So, um, yeah, so just, yeah, Spirit is saying, have faith, guys. Have faith. It What is meant for you is coming for you. Whatever you deserve, it is coming. So just fill your love, fill your life with love and light. And I will see you next time. God bless.